Taylor Swift brings out another surprise guest. Jenna Marbles gives a dog a makeover. Justin Bieber is blonde yet again. And amazing actors Victoria Justice and Pearson Foday will be joining us. It's all coming up on Top 5 Live. <laughs> Beautiful Red Sea. What's up, Internet? I'm Hunter March, and welcome to Top 5 Live, the show where the control is in your hands. Really, you guys can make it or break it all day long. You guys have been giving your fingers a workout by tweeting, Instagramming, and commenting what you want on today's countdown. And if you guys at home want to get in on this action, make sure to hit us up on Twitter, at Top 5 Live, to make your voice heard. But enough about that, let's get into the countdown. At number five is Taylor Swift and her latest 1989 tour celebrity guest. Tay Tay brought out Wiz Khalifa to perform the Tear Jerker See You Again, which basically made everyone cry. She's so good. So good. Anybody cry at that song the first time they heard it? No, we got a bunch of cold, cold people in this room right now. Taylor brought out Wiz Khalifa, and we're bringing out the two ridiculously talented stars of the new movie, Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. It's Victoria Justice and Pierce Fode. <laughs> You both look fantastic. Oh, well, Go thank on. you, sir. Go on. You, no, you look bad. fantastic. You want more of it, don't you? No, I love it. <laughs> I'm ready. We met at Awesomeness TV a while ago. We you were in the Runaways and all that stuff, and then mm -hmm. I met you through Pearson. I'm excited you guys are on the show. Yeah, yeah we're excited too. to be here. It's like a little awesome. reunion. Yeah, Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List tells the story of two lifelong friends that fall for the same guy. Let's go ahead and check out a clip. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. And. George says he's in a band. Oh my god, that's even hotter. Welcome, Gabriel, to number two on the no kiss list. Hmm. It is the official insurance against Naomi and Eli breakup. Friendship where we never fight over guys. Is a friendship that lasts forever. Exactly. Done. Gabriel is off limits. Slight difference between your character in the movie and who you are in real life. Oh, really? What, what is that? Would you say? I think it's the hair. <laughs> no, you're playing. It. You're playing obviously her gay best friend, right? right? Yes. And you guys end up liking the same guy in the movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we do. That's it's tricky. Tough. It's tricky. It really yeah. Does. Um, yeah, he's my gay best friend, and I'm. We have like a very codependent relationship in the film, and. Mm. I'm definitely in love with him, and I'm kind of dating my boyfriend out of convenience, and mm -hmm. they just happen to have this like connection that they form. But really, the movie is about like growing up. It's a really modern day coming of age story about like love and friendship and and change. So and how to deal with that? Yeah, totally. Have either of you ever had a crush on the same person as your best friend? Yeah. Growing up, all the time. How did it get resolved? Uh, you go first. I think it's usually just like whoever has the connection with that person. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's hard to tell. That's your point. I mean, you know, like sometimes you feel like you both have the connection and you're like, no, no, no. She tweeted me first, you know. <laughs> okay, so this yeah. is <laughs> she's talking to me. It's, it's cool, it's cool. Modern day love. Modern she day. She tweeted love. me first. Yeah. Like <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. I've never actually had that happen, but thing I feel like is Shakespeare would be like, she doth tweeted me first. <laughs> uh, next up on the countdown is Thomas Sanders at number four, who showed us how it really feels to work on a group project. This completes our presentation. And now the credits. Supper. This completes our presentation. And now the credits. Supper. This completes our presentation. And now the credits. Guys, in school, were you the group project person who did it all, or did you put it on someone else? I was usually pretty involved in my group projects. I, I like to take charge a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Pearson's like, I didn't do any homework. I, uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> That's good. That's where I was, too. I you totally know, agree with you. No, it's, it's, you know, sometimes you got to let the brains take over, and you just be the creative butterfly that's just, you can do this. Yeah. <laughs> the support system. I only yeah. let other people do the math, uh, English, science, history, uh, projects. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> Everything else, though, I handled. The PE yeah. stuff, me. You guys picked it. We've got it here for you. Your pick for the number three spot on the countdown. It's Jenna Marbles giving her dogs the makeover from hell in Ratchet Dog Salon. <laughs> Some say makeover. I just think poor puppies. 
Yes, they said I love when I go to mommy's ratchet salon because I don't just look like a dog anymore. I look like a she-hulk. Yeah, I look like a she-hulk. We have fans of Jenna Marbles. She's hilarious. She's so good. She's awesome. Yeah. Do you have any pets? I do, I have two dogs, yeah. Two Sammy and dogs? Sophie, they're yeah. Schanzers. Half Bichon, half Chanel's are, they're amazing. You said Schanzers, I was supposed to know what that yeah, meant. Yeah, come on, get, get, get it together. The only person who knows what Schanzers are are people that own Schanzers. <laughs> it's true, it's really true. Uh, any advice <laughs> for you? I mean, I grew up on a farm, so like I raised cows, horses. We had like a dozen dogs, so yeah. Ever absolutely. do a cow makeover where you just paint its hooves and... It we actually did. Hooves, right? We actually yeah, did, weird yeah. enough. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like enough. I tapped we... into something I was not expecting. Uh, well, I'm full of that. Yeah, yeah good, good. good. Uh, and listen up, emoji lovers. New emojis are coming out in the next iOS update and what? include such gems as a unicorn. Solid. You're a Ooh. unicorn, in my opinion. A piece of cheese. Hey. Pearson, you're a piece of cheese, oh, in my yeah, opinion. Come on, come on. And even a taco. You're a taco. You're a taco. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping for the taco. <laughs> Our emoji prayers seem to have been answered. That's pretty incredible. That's amazing. I'm stoked. Are you guys getting the new iPhone 6S or the iPad Pro or anything? Everyone's been t tweeting about it right now. Really? Yeah. Um, You're I'm, like, what's that? I, yeah, I don't know <laughs> if it's going to be that much different. If yeah. it's that much different, yeah, maybe. Got it. If you guys could have your own emoji, just. Anything you want, it could be an emoji. Mm. For me, for you, it would be just this pose of you doing this right now, <laughs> thinking. <laughs> I would use that to send to all of my the friends. Pose. Yeah. That'd be a great one. What would uh, your emoji be? What would my emoji be? God, I don't know. That's like a really serious, I'd, I'd have to think about this one before I like, I don't know. You yet. know what? You've got at least another two or three minutes <laughs> okay, to think okay, of it. Okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, your picks for the top two today were extremely close, which is funny because they actually used to date. And number two on the countdown is the newly blonde Justin Bieber, who was on the Today Show this morning, where he performed five songs. It's like a mini concert. What First, he serenaded mean? thousands of screaming fans for this hit. What do you mean? Then he got all throwback Thursday and performed Boyfriend. Then more throwback with As Long As You Love Me. Followed by an acoustic version of one of the most disliked songs on YouTube, Baby. Baby, baby, I thought you'd always be mine. He finished up his concert marathon with his other summer smash, Where Are You Now? Good summer. He's no longer like a, a little jerk. No. You know? That's a good thing. Who knows though? He could just be punching people down the street <laughs> all the time. Actually, Kick right after. Yeah. yeah. Right like after this happened, he like turned to a camera operator not knowing that the camera was still, like his mic was still on and was like, oh. why do I even dance if you're just gonna film my face? Kind of came back for a second, Ooh. old JB. Peeing in mop buckets. Uh, <laughs> we all remember that. Now, yeah. fans of the show Victorious have been freaking out over a reunion pic Victoria posted with former castmates. Are you guys planning something that we should be knowing about? No, no, no? not really. We all just wanted to like catch up and hang out, and it was really fun. We That's the time. problem with the internet, though. You post one photo, and everyone's like, reunion time, let's do this. I know, I know. <laughs> you never know, but. Yeah, if you guys did a TV show together, what would it would it be no, another Naomi and it would be a, no kiss list TV show? That's actually Damn. a great one because each episode could be a different guy on different the no guy. kiss list. There it is. Oh, I'll what talk about idea. this. I do get a you. fee for coming up with the idea. Yeah, no, ten percent. Created by yeah, yeah. just a created by credit. Created that's by, okay, that's solid. Uh, <laughs> we've reached our pick for the top spot, which you guys have been tweeting at us all day, making our top five live debut at number one on the countdown is my not-so-secret crush, Selena Gomez, who tweeted out the track list for her upcoming album, Revival, along with, along with some sexy animated gifs. She also released her latest single, Same Old Love. I'm so sick of that same old love. My body's had enough. Oh, that same old love. Oh, that same old love. That's the laziest music video ever. <laughs> They're like, we only recorded half of what we need. Let's just play it back again. <laughs> uh, fans of Selena? Yeah, I think she's doing her thing. Sure. I just want to know who you guys like, because I just want to be your friend. I want to like the same people. <laughs> um, at number, oh, wait. 
We're done. That is our top five live for the day. Huge thanks to Victoria Justice and Pearson Foote for joining us. The most beautiful, most beautiful people in the world, in my opinion, honestly. Uh, you guys can purchase Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List exclusively on iTunes on September 18th. And if you pre-order the film, 10% of the proceeds will be donated to The Trevor Project. Really quickly before we leave, I wanted to take an Instagram picture. Oh, yeah, the yeah, Top right. 5 Live account. Let's do this. Right. Three, two. I've never been more okay being the least pretty person in a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you guys right. for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and write a beautiful caption for this as we do this. Thank you guys for watching. Please tweet us at Top 5 Live to tell us what you wanna see on the countdown. And we'd love to have you in our audience. Visit the link on screen and in the description below. Tomorrow we've got a special best of summer episode where we're counting down who owned the season. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Yeah.